let me tell you a story. 1961, the night before the Geneva Motor Show. Jaguar is preparing to reveal the E-Type. Excitement from the world's press exceeds all expectations. A second E-Type is needed. A driver is dispatched 13 hours to reach Geneva. 750 miles through the night. He makes it with 10 minutes to spare. The rest, as they say, is history. A journey never to be repeated. Until now. It is 55 years to the night since Jaguar test driver Norman Dewis burst out of the Coventry factory doors and onto this very road. And in 13 hours at the 2016 Geneva Motor Show, Jaguar will unveil this car, the F-Type SVR convertible. And when I say this car, I mean this car. This is the only F-Type SVR convertible in the world. If I don't get there, then the Jaguar boss will unveil nothing. Fresh air. The F-Type is Jag's spiritual successor to the E-Type. A two-seat, rear-drive, proper sports car. Now, Jaguar's elite SVO Skunk Works department has turned the F-Type into simply the fastest series production Jaguar ever created, the SVR. What they've done is they've taken the standard V8 F-Type and made it nastier. More power, less weight, more range. Calling me across Europe is a 567 brake horsepower V8. It will clock 0 to 60 in three and a half seconds on its way to a top speed of 195 miles an hour. And that is the kind of grunt you need when you're trying to outrun history. With twice the power of the original E-Type and 21st century motorways to help me on my way, matching Norman's time should be, on paper, a breeze. But I've also got 21st century traffic and 21st century traffic police. If there's one hold up, I'm not going to make this. And as I arrived at the Channel Tunnel, I started to realize the magnitude of my task. I wasn't just trying to keep up with any old test driver, I was trying to keep up with a legend. After serving in the Second World War, Norman Dewis joined Jaguar as their chief test driver. There, for the next 30 years, he helped develop some of the most iconic sports cars ever created. In 1953, Norman set a new production car world record, reaching 172 miles per hour in a Jaguar XK120. Then, in 1971, during development of the XJ13 prototype, a rear tire blew out, causing the car to barrel roll three times. It was completely destroyed. Norman was back at work the next day. This was the man who drove the E-Type to Geneva. The man I have to keep up with. Tonight, I am following in the footsteps of an automotive pioneer. I'm standing on the shoulders of an absolute giant. And this, the most powerful of modern Jags, is being driven by an idiot off the internet. Me. Yes. Entering France with an entire large country still to cross, I was definitely up against it. And the consequences of failure would be significant. The Geneva show is the centerpiece of the motoring calendar. And this car is Jaguar's big reveal. If I don't get there, I won't just have failed Top Gear. I'll have failed Britain. Better get a move on. Oh, I should probably mention, that carbon fiber rear wing deploys automatically at 60 miles an hour. In fact, if there are any traffic cops watching this, the wing deploys automatically at 40 miles an hour. Make that 30. As the SVR ate up France, it was clearly more than capable of keeping pace with Norman. But with a night wearing on, 
push the ticket button. There you go. And only the occasional local for company. I have no idea what you're saying. The car wasn't the problem. It was me. So tired. So, so tired. It was tough. But you get on with it, don't you? You have to keep going. This is relentless. How the hell did Norman Jewis do this journey without energy drinks? The man's a god. And then, at last... Daybreak. Welcome relief from the darkness and the final stretch. There's tired, there's dead tired, and then there's how I'm feeling right now. Fortunately, the SVR is packed with a handy pick-me-up. There's a new exhaust, which is made out of Inconel. That's the stuff they use to build space rockets. It saves 16 kilos over the exhaust on the standard V8, but more importantly, it makes a noise like an industrial wood chipper being fed into another industrial wood chipper. <laughs> Somewhere in the small hours, though, my schedule had slipped, and with just two hours until the SVR was due on stage, I had over 100 miles still to cover, most of them on mountain roads. All right, hold on to your hats. Unlike the ordinary V8 F-Type, the SVR is all-wheel drive. And right now, that's a good thing. The acceleration on this thing is just savage. It's supercar fast. And that noise. <laughs> I'm loving this thing. The handling, you turn it in, it feels sharper. The throttle response, more instant. It just feels like a much more hardcore version of a car that is already pretty damn hardcore. That's exactly what I need right now. Oh, yes! With the press gathering on their show stand, Jaguar bosses in Geneva were getting nervous. Come on, move! Thank you! Merci beaucoup! And my phone was going crazy. The car has to be here, Rory. Yeah, no, no, I get, I get it. No, I totally get it. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye. I knew this was a bad idea, man. I knew this was a bad idea. Approaching Geneva, I had just 10 minutes till the car was due on stage. There it is in front of me. I can see it. I can see Palex Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jaguar Land Rover press conference will shortly commence. I need to find Gate D. Gate D. Please let this be it. For delivering this car to Jaguar. Super, super urgent. Is Gate D? No, no, no! I need to back up. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jaguar F Type SVR. And there to welcome me, Norman. Hey, Rory, lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. See you <laughs> it's about determination. Believing you will do it. I never doubted for a second. <laughs> 